Okay, so we were able to create these multi-domain functions. And so if they're working right, and we've already tested them, so we have good confidence that they're working right, we should also be able to plot them and use the plotting functions of MathCAD. And so the plotting functions have changed dramatically in the evolution of MathCAD. And they've gotten a lot easier to use. And so I'm going to just, you know, you can still use all the old methods, but I'm going to demonstrate some of the new uh, techniques, which are really straightforward and simple. And so I'm just going to scroll down and I'm going to create those domains and we should be able to recognize that or those domains, the, those plots down here. And so we go up here, uh, where are we? we? Go to plots and we're going to insert a plot and it offers us different types. And this is just an XY plot. It comes up with this standard XY plot. So I always find it a little bit confusing. This is the vertical axis, even though it's beside the X axis. And this is the horizontal axis uh, down here. So let's start filling it out. We want to have time and we need to put in our units because we've been defining units on our X axis. And we're going to return our function. And so we put it in as a function of our uh, forcing function and it is going to plot in kilonewtons. And if I wanted to plot in newtons, I would just put that in in newtons. And lo and behold, it doesn't do that. And the reason why it won't res reply with a response is we don't have our domain defined. And by domain, I mean the T, right? So it's not defined. So let's go up here and define our domain. And so we're going to go T is equal to, and our, we want it to go from zero, and we want it to go to 300 milliseconds, but we want to also define at what interval it's going to plot those uh, numbers. And so I'm going to choose an interval of 10 milliseconds, and we're going to go out to 300 milliseconds. And so now you see it does recognize it, uh, and you can do that out. You can change up here. You can change the trace color if you want. There, there's lots of things that you can do uh, to do that. One of the things that I typically do is on the background, I turn it into a transparent background. Uh, it looks a little easier. And if we scroll back up again, it looks very similar to this, uh, which is great. It's a great way to test it. So let's uh, quickly uh, plot up the uh, forcing function, or sorry, the resistance function. So in this case, I'm going to define my domain. And again, I want it to go from X equals zero millimeters, uh, hit my comma. And so that's going to be at one millimeter intervals. And I want to go out. So remember X max was 80 millimeters. If I go beyond 80 millimeters, because I have that string in there, it, it will give me an error. So let's go 80 millimeters and let's insert our plot. Again, an XY plot. And I'm just going to shrink it down a little bit so that it fits on the page. Oh, didn't quite get that. So let's put it over here. And so in this case, we have X is our domain in millimeters. And on our vertical axis, it's the resistance or R uh, at X. Oh, it was a big R, wasn't it? Just a sec. We need to get those right. And that was in kilonewtons, I believe. And no, what did I do wrong? R at X kilonewtons, X in millimeters. Doesn't like my X. Ah. So what's going on here? The reason why it doesn't like it, remember top to bottom, left to right, notice that where my domain is defined is uh, below the top of the graph. So it's trying to calculate the graph before it's getting a domain. So the easiest thing for me to do here is I'm just gonna shrink this down a little bit, make it fit the space and tuck it in underneath my definition. And you see that it immediately uh, recognize it and it's able to plot it. Again, we can do the same things that we were doing before turn my background to transparent. I can maybe change the trace color, uh, like a nice orange color. And it looks a lot like our resistance function up here. Remember I said if we go beyond 80 millimeters because this is returning a string at the function greater than 80 millimeters, 
I'll just very quickly show you what that looks like if we make it out to 90 millimeters and it's not going to be defined and so it's just going to stop calculating it. So we'll put that back to 80 and call it a day. Hopefully that was useful. So you've got functions. We're going to define the domain over it and give it a step. Uh, and of course, the finer the step, the more calculations it's doing, but the smoother your function is going to be. So hopefully that was useful and we'll just carry on doing this.